All right, so here we are. I just felt more comfortable just doing one from the beginning. So this is the table that the K-Leg is on. The table is on, the motor is on, and we just put in the cushion. My head engineer, Mr. Octavio, is putting the machine together. These are hello, the cushion. Hello, hello. The cushion, see, simple. So I told them if they don't never did this at home, it would take them probably four hours to do it, right? Three to four hours. Octavio does that in 30 minutes. But for ladies, probably four or five hours, men four or five hours. So see, this cushion goes right in here. This one goes right in here. And front, and these are the, and you see that's how you put the nail on. This is actually any type of, not even Juki, console, go, new tech, Econa, so whatever machine you're doing, this is the same exact way of assembling the head. You put the other one on, and even if it's a um, uh, non automatic so far, this is all the same way of doing the um, assembling the same way. We want to make sure that we don't. All right. Put a nail in there so they will move. All of these things that you see are coming in the package. I mean, the drill and the hammer is not included. <laughs> All right. So. Now these are the hinges. Okay, the oil pan. You see the oil pan front? Front the oil pan, just drop it in there. That's it, done. The umbrella goes in there. And this is the knee lifter, which you don't need it in the, in the automatic. You see, you turn that down. And adjust, put this in there. Hallelujah, done. Good, this is the knee lifter. And then you do the knee lifter, you see, this comes up, you see? Okay, now the pin, what do you call it? Head, head pin, and then you gotta just, I'll do that part. So, you just, done. All right, we have the head back there. We're gonna bring the head. You want me to help you? No. Show where they. Oh, they have they to hold. Have to hold okay, it. hold here. The and the front. The front here. Right there. Right do not there. hold here. No. Do not hold here. This is the way you hold it. Yes. I'm gonna go from the other side. Yeah. He wants me to show you how. Put your finger right there. Here you go. God bless you, Octavia. Octavia is a very nice man. And you put the head. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and put this in here. One uh -huh. and two. Done. And it fills right into the bam. Done. See how flush it is gonna be flush. And this goes from as we talked about this goes through that hole. And I'm gonna show you where all of these things will go. And when you do this at home or at place of work, you gotta take it, you know, you gotta relax. Never pull it. No, no, Never do not push it. this. No, no, don't pull this. The plug. The plug, just, just go ahead and, yes. Grab it. Grab it. The cable. Never the plug. Never the plug. Only pull, only pull the cable. Yes. Okay. All right, very nice. You want to come in the back? Stay I stay there. I'm going to do it this way. 
Yes. Maybe it's better this way. <laughs> no, I know how much people appreciate a good video. Okay, you want to put the, the cover the cover on right now? All right, you're gonna put the cover on. The bell. Uh, I'm gonna get you the belt, or you wanna get the belt? Uh, just. Wait, I'll, I'll get the bill. Yeah. So this one goes here. You have gonna have two for the yeah, cover. Can. This one goes here. You're gonna have actually one, two, and three. And this is obviously the uh, reverse. We're getting the belt. We're coming back. All right, we got the belt. And again, you see, that pulley down there is exactly lined up with this pulley. You have to pull this cord. Can you come this, this side to show I'm going to come this side to show. You have to raise the motor. You have to raise the motor. Put the belt on, on the pulley. And then, here you go. Yeah. And... Oh, you bend in there. It's here. It's here. It's here. Easy. It's Done. Here. And then you drop the motor. Drop the motor and tie the bottom. Yeah, make that. How much? You gotta be like, maybe give like quarter, quarter or in between eight, one eighth to one a quarter. In between. between one eighth to quarter. Yes. Give adjustment. Adjustment. Very nice. And we did this one, and you could do the bottom one. Yes. Again, you do not need to make any holes in this machine. The table, if you're adjusting this at home or assembling it, comes with all the holes, everything included. All right, the machine is coming together. This is the cover. Oh, by the way. By the way. You have to put it this, like this. Uh huh. You got to have to push it all the way back. They have to push that all the way back. And there is a screw here. Maybe you can see right here to see the screws. So you opening it now or you closing it? I close it. Right now? Oh, you, you it was it. it was open before. Yes. It's open, you just uh, close it. You push the belt cover in and then you close it and now you're gonna put the cover, cover on. Good. Good job. Mm -hmm. And every, that, yes, it's matching with the hole. Everything falls in the place, and the screws. Two screws, right? One in the front, one in the right. Yes. Uh, and uh, Octavio, what is these two black screws in the middle for? Uh, this is different. It's sometimes for adjustment the belt. Sometimes adjustment the belt. Yes. Oh, you could push it back. Yes. Okay. That way. We don't yeah. need to do none it of that like stuff. If I don't do that, that's Nothing. okay. Nothing. That's okay. It's okay. Right, very nice. Okay, let's put the cover. We're gonna put the belt cover on now. Belt cover is very important. So we already put the bracket on here. The bracket is here. Mm -hmm. I put it before. Right. That's a big screw. Just push it in there, bam. Goes in there. Oh, what a way. First thing I'm sorry. You have to put the... The bobbin winder. Bobbin winder. First thing. We're going to go ahead and put the bobbin winder. We're going to align the bobbin winder right here. So the way we're going to do it is that when you put this on, it has to be away from the belt, so it won't hit the belt. But when you press it, it has to hit the belt. So it needs a, a little bit of adjustment. And uh, here we go. Okay. See the way it is? Yeah. Like quarter inch separate from the belt. Quarter inch separation between the belt and the wheel. Quarter inch between 
the belt and the wheel. And this this angle from here, it had to be an angle like that because let's get the it's gonna fit this part here. You gotta make so sure that when this pure part goes in the back, yes. right? So it's gonna be like an angle, maybe on the top is quarter inch wider than the bottom. I'm gonna hold this. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Get your. I don't want to see. Okay. Flat screwdriver. Flat, not the. the As feeling screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, flip. That's okay. it. Tight. So now, if you see. Uh -huh. Close, when you close that, the bobbin winder will turn. That's it, open, Push. close. Hey, and the, it had to turn it with the bell. Yes, that's it. But now, here. Just push that in. Yeah, make sure, make sure with the black screw. There's three screws that go in the back. By the way, these are for the uh, you could use this one, we use our own screws for here, but you could use the white one if you want. Yeah. All right, Rock for screw. the big one. Oops. Yeah, the big one. Another one goes up there, so three screws. Two on the top, one in the bottom, and you just tie it, mm -hmm. and then make sure. Make sure it's tight. Well, the trick is that don't tie one at a time. Just do it slowly, and then and then this okay. one here is heat over here in this plastic. Let me uh -huh. show you. Let yes. me show you a little bit. Loosen the screw from the valve winder and pull it back. The valve winder, not right there. So you have to have, in here, you have to have around one-eighth space between this and this. Yeah. And if you do this, and you see, that's why there are adjustment holes uh -huh. here. And that's it. And then you put that one right there. That's it. This is the belt and this cover. is the belt cover, the back. Two little screws. No? All right, and now, now we're done with this. We're gonna go to the back to the motor. Yeah, you want me to build it out there first? Yes, okay, yes. Let's do it this time. We're gonna do the thread stand right here. Yeah. All the parts are there. And uh, building a thread stand. So we're gonna number what? Number? It's 10 millimeters. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench. Yes. All right. In case you can use one of this wrench, wrench. and fill it to the right. Let's start with the post. Let's start with the post. Washer. La washer on the back. So this is. This is 516. 516? Got 516. it. 516. Or you can use this. Or you could use that one. Whatever you want. Yeah, we would rather use the power tool because we do many, many sewing machines. Yes. So it's gonna, we, we don't want to waste any time. See, yes. that everything is done. Just put it in there. You mm -hmm. gotta get a washer and put the nut and the tool. And done. Not too much. Don't touch too much. Here you go. Okay. And this is the fastener. Let's, let's put this. So the lower part of the tube, as you see, two wa the washer on top and two washer on the bottom and the big nut. Yeah. 
Kilo. La set. Easy. Now, the bottom part where the thread stand sits, 10 inch from the bottom, you put it 10 inch from the bottom. And then you could tie it more if you want. Done. The fastener or the adapt or the, and this is the second part that sits there. There you go. And now, one inch or two inch from the top. Good. Now the plastic disc. Now the plastic disc that the cones are sitting. One, two, the felt, the felt or the, here you go. Okay. Done. Done. Now. Now we're gonna do the... The knee lifter. The knee lifter, okay. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do the knee lifter. Let me get it.